two days. That is all it took for Metro to have their first school set back. Robert Churchwell Elementary is back to full virtual learning tonight. The setback will, will be felt heavily by parents, of course, who now need to care for these children who are put back in the classroom. They were recently, well, several weeks ago. News News4's Cameron Taylor talked with them tonight about their reaction. For the next two weeks, students at this school will be learning online. A parent we spoke with tonight says it was only a matter of time before the coronavirus made it to her son's school. I guess going in, as parents, we kind of knew the risk. Ray Fayella Evans L's son goes to Robert Churchwell Museum Magnet Elementary. He has special needs and was one of the first back in the classroom. This single working mom says virtual learning was hard on them. And with him being special needs, my son, my son has cerebral palsy. Um, is, I have to be very hands on with him with all of his classes. Now they'll have to get used to it again for a couple of weeks. The district says a staff member tested positive for the virus. 21 other staff members and a student are required to quarantine because they were exposed. I work with the public, so I see people not wearing a mask, wearing a mask below their nose, around their chins and everything. So kind of not surprising. Director of Schools Dr. Adrian Battle issued this statement saying, quote, while we believe the risk of transmission based on the circumstances of this situation is low, health protocols dictate that we take this step in order to protect the health and safety of staff and students. Evans L. does worry about her son catching the virus. I was told that he wasn't in contact with the staff member that caught COVID, but I don't know if he was in contact with someone who was in contact with someone. That's why she'll be watching him closely as he continues his learning from home. Cameron Taylor, News 4, Nashville. Now keep in mind, students in third and fourth grades, they were supposed to start in-person learning next week. In grades through middle school, they are set to return by the first week of November. This closure, a concrete example of the fear that Metro school leaders are already expressing tonight. Here's both Adrian Battle and also school board member Abigail Taylor. They talked to us about the return timeline over the last two days. We're at the point where it's spreading at an alarming rate. And as the people who went out to um, large gatherings without masks, when they bring that back, we're going to start seeing even more of those cases pop up. And it won't be safe for either our students or our staff to have them in person if our cases continue to rise. The latest numbers community-wide are concerning. And if they continue to trend in the wrong direction, it may require deeper discussion about the timeline for a phase-in of students. High schoolers are not set to return to the classroom until January.